Good morning, everybody. The baby cat and the Felix. Everybody's asking for him. Baby cat. Psst. Hey, say hi to the camera. Um, cat TV. There were some birds out here. Oh, they are. Yes, right there by the bush. That's cat TV. And the birds seem to be just teasing them, actually. Where'd it go? Right above the chair. Cute little things. Um, there was a bunch of them out yesterday. I was sick the uh, last couple of days, so I haven't done anything. <clears throat> I'm still a little rough. Um, we do get cold here at night. Um, <clears throat> there's frost on the car. Frost on the ground out there. You can see the color difference from here to there where the frost hit. So our planting season is later here this year in this new home. We are up north farther and our planting season is going to be later. But that doesn't stop us from getting ready <coughs> and um, and preparing our, our seeds and starter trays. The uh, cats are going to go outside today, I promised them. And I think they understand very well what I mean because they're excited. Well, the beginning of a new day, everybody. Try from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Felix, you want the birds, huh? Huh? Felix, want the birds? They're everywhere out there. I just wanted to show you the frost on the car. It's actually pretty. Oh, it's not showing up on the camera. Bummer. It's really glittery. I don't think it shows up on the camera. It's really pretty and glittering, but bad news for plants. Anyway, oh, baby cat, you want to go outside? Huh? Maybe you want to get a bird? Hmm. That's torture. They'll go outside later. Hey guys, been out here troubling, troubleshooting the hot water heater in my uh, um, still on grid but soon to be off grid not so tiny house on wheels. Thanks Brian for the word. And after um, I found out the reset button was tripped after I had emptied everything, fried a ranch, um, forgot to turn off the power, fried a ranch, uh, reset switch was tripped and I found out why the um, upper heating element leaks Let's see if I can get that see the water on the uh, electrode on the bottom the blue wire the water next to it and the water in the middle actually the water comes out both electrodes right through the electrodes shorted out the leads and blew out the breaker this this breaker inside and not the main breaker to the house. Um, pulled out the lower heating element and checked it and it looked good. So no problems there. It's not leaking and there's no problems. I put it back in and the seal doesn't seem to be leaking where I put it back in. So that's all well. Now to empty these to check them it's a simple self-test and I guess they say you're supposed to empty these once a year or so and drain them to get the gunk out of the bottom. You put a garden hose on the bottom of the valve and then you open the valve and that's running to the outdoors right now into our flower beds that Melanie is planting alright so we're using the water uh, we have a 40 gallon tank so I've got 40 gallons of water going outside into the flower beds and then I just took a guess but there's a pressure release on top you see that up there that I lifted up and it allowed the water to flow better of course I shut off the water valve going into the system uh, before I started doing all this um, first and foremost, shut off your breaker to the hot water heater before you start messing with this, or you will melt metal like I did. Um, don't make mistakes like that. Anyway, though, um, empty the tank, check the elements, everything look good, put them back together, fill the tank, turn on the breaker, saw smoke coming out right here, and that's, then I, that's when I noticed water was bubbling out through the... Uh, the elements themselves right through the element so I'm gonna replace that it's like a $15 part or something like that at True Value Hardware so I just wanted to show you I just am 
I'm going to double check that there's no power. Remove those two screws, remove the wires, and then I have a um, wrench um, from True Value Hardware that is designed to fit over that. And you put a screwdriver in and you turn it right on out nice and easy. So I'll have the element out in a minute. That was quite a tongue full. Well guys, there's the bad boy. I didn't think it was the upper element, but sure enough, there's where the leak is. That thing is bad. It's warped. That's supposed to be straight. Wow. Well then that's a simple quick fix. Uh, we should have hot water in the, uh, the house here. What a mess. Yeah, that one was beyond. It had burst open. The thing was burst open. That was way beyond time to repair. Wow. Good thing I checked that. All right, well, we're going to have hot showers in the house soon. Hey guys, back from the hardware store. This is what it's supposed to look like. And this is what it looks like. Big difference there. <laughs> so I'm going to pop in the new element. Let's plug and play. Pop it in, put in the two screws, flip on the circuit breaker, and we should have hot water. And that's all just thick coating of minerals. Well, guys, we have. It takes a minute to get through the tube. There, we have hot water. Very hot water. Ouch. We have hot and cold running water. Well, uh, fixing a hot water heater is a simple do-it-yourself job. And as long as you're careful to shut off the power, all is well. Hey everybody, building a solar panel rack. Uh, got a neighbor guy helping me out today. Uh, somebody who's actually done this before and what we've got is some four by fours dug into the ground I'm learning a lot today. So uh, thank you to my anonymous helper and um, We've got them in everything's level everything's squared away and nice and neat and we've got two boards up on hinges These are hinge points now Okay and now we're gonna put cross bracing to hold solar panels and then we're going to screw on four solar panels onto this uh, rack and it'll be adjustable to follow the sun the angles of the sun uh, through the seasons now since I have uh, somebody here helping who doesn't want to be on video I won't be recording much so bear with me here but we'll be back in a little while and we'll have a solar panel rack here and we've come away from where the original ones were because of winter sun, it's going to be lower in the sky. So we had to come out quite a ways further. Which means these two trees are probably going to have to go away in order to have afternoon sunlight. But we'll, we'll check on that later. Alright guys, there is the frame. So I think you can sort of see two solar panels are going to sit here and then two more on top. And thanks goes to Grandpa Dave for using part of his solar panel rack design. All right, guys, going to start mounting panels. See you in a little bit. All right, guys, now there is a beautiful site. Professionally done with help from a neighbor. Uh, really, really good. We actually combined an idea I had with the idea he had. Uh, he brought an idea from a friend of his and uh, made it real. It's a reality. Now, I've still got to finish up here. I've got to put a hinge point here, and I'm going to put, um, this is just a temporary arm right here to stop it, but we got a 45, got 45 degree angle for now, and I'm going to level it out probably tomorrow. I'll put that hinge point in here, and I'll put holes in the arm, and then have a pin for it to connect to, and then it'll be an adjustable rack. Now there's a hinge point right here on that bolt. And I just temporarily connected the wires and checked and I've got power on the two sets of panels. So both sets of panels are pulling, pushing power. Got cross bracing on the back for strength and that board on the bottom is connected. It's all treated lumber so it's built to last. 
So looking good. Tomorrow I'll wrap that up with the hinge points and the adjustable uh, arm there. But that is, I told you guys I'm not going to play around on this property. Now there's a frame. Now I'll probably put another one in over here eventually, another pair. And that'll power the workshop and the office. All right, guys, I got to clean up. So talk to you guys later. Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Another day winding down to a close.